Hello, it's Jay here again and welcome to the next video. So in this lesson, we're going to work on actually creating the blocks. Now, where we left off in the last lesson, we created the private void spawn block and we've got the code in for the eye shape block. And what we're going to do is copy this entire if statement. And first of all, before we actually create the blocks themselves, we're just going to copy and paste this code in. And we're going to paste it in six times, giving us a total of seven. One for each type of block. So this is just finishing up from the last lesson. So we just need to change the name of next block. So I shaped. Um, the next one will be J shaped. Now we have to change it in two locations. And of course in the comments. So it's now just going to be a case of going through all the block names so the next one is l shaped and the next one is o shaped and i know it doesn't look much like now i'm using the names um what are supposed to be the official names for the Tetris block. So, if you're wondering about the names, that's where it comes from. So, the next one's going to be S. And now finally just the last two to do which are going to be T and Z. So we'll just finish up the last one then we can actually begin the block creation. And let's just save that off there. So once this is finished recompiling, we'll create the first block. But first, we'll come to Assets, Create of Type Folder. And we're going to create our Resources Folder. And this is where we're going to store all the block models so we're going to come to game object we're going to create empty to start with and then we'll give it a name of eye shaped now a little word about these names they must match exactly otherwise things will not work very important so if you want to avoid mistakes the best thing to do is actually just take this name and copy and paste it on to the name for the shape or the empty game object which is going to hold the shape so please take note of that i'm just going to reset the position and what we're going to do now is we're going to use a 3D object. We're going to use type Q again. So all of these, I'm just going to reset the position. I'm 
and then we're going to take this cube here and drag and drop it onto eye shape just now inside that empty game object now you of course can use um, any block model you wish I'm just going to stick with a plain cube because I am going to um, apply a random color texture onto the blocks um, with a black outline as well just like um, it does in a normal Tetris game um, that is for an upcoming video very soon um, but for now I'm just going to use these blank cubes just while we get things working so what we can do is click on um, the cube right click and duplicate and as you can see I'm moving here on the X axis let's just move that I really want to move this on the Z so let's zero out the X axis the Z I'm going to set to 1 we'll duplicate again this time Z to 2 and I'll duplicate again this time I'm going to set Z to minus 1 so once we've done that we can click on I shaped the empty game object and we'll drag and drop in that into our resources folder and there we have the game object to be loaded now from here is just going to be a case of um, changing the game object here so we'll begin by changing the name this time it's going to be J shaped and this last cube we're going to move gain I'm going to set to 2 on the Z and this time I want to change the X axis to 1 I'll click on J shaped and then I'll drag that into the resources folder and this box should come up we want to create a new original prefab so make sure to click that option so once we've done that we'll go through now and we'll create the others so L shaped is easy come to cube 3 X from 1 to minus 1, we'll drag that in. And we want the so called O shape, which is actually more of a square, but there you go. So <laughs> let's just do this. Um, I'll set X to 1. Z to zero, then I'm going to come to cube two, X to one, Z to one. So I know these, um, with them being blank, do not look like proper Tetris blocks as of yet. But like I said, they will do once everything is completed. So let's now come back and we're going to create the s shaped so let's have a look here I'm going to set the z to minus one And we'll drop that in. We want Z shaped. So I'll put Z back to 1. Going to Q, come to cube in brackets 1. So it's not X, it's Z. to minus one 
And we just have the T to create now. So cube two. We'll just move the X back to zero. And I've dropped that in. I've not changed it in the inspector. So I'll just say change that to T shape, dragged it in. Now I'll just delete the Z shape one. As you can see, we've got two here. So let's just delete that one. We can delete this out of the scene now. And in fact, let's create a new scene. A basic built-in 3D scene is fine. So we need to save as. And what we're going to do is save this in scenes. I'll just name it game for now. We're going to come to the main camera. And we're going to assign the spawn block script. So as you can see, here's the list of blocks that we have available. Next box is blank. So is the current block. But let's hit play and see what happens. And now we've got the eye shaped as both the next block and then it's spawned in making it the current block here. And if I keep the game running but come to the scene view you can see it's the eye shaped block. Let's stop that there. And I'll just hit play it again. Now we've got the Z shaped block. Which I can show you if we come to scene again. And of course you can do this as many times as you want. Just to make sure that it's totally randomised. So now we've got S. And it certainly looks like it's choosing from the list. So, of course, we've only got a list of seven, so you're going to get some duplicates now. T-shapes come in, so yeah. The randomization's working well. We're going to leave it here for this lesson. We'll pick this up in the very next video. So, as always, I hope you enjoyed this lesson. I hope to see you next time. And until then, as always, bye for now.